Laurel Thatcher Ulrich's A Midwife's Tale, The Life of Martha Ballard, based on her diary, is a historical account of the life of Martha Ballard, a midwife who lived in Hollowell, Maine during the late 18th and early 19th century. Ulrich uses Ballard's extensive diary to provide a window into the daily life of a midwife, and to shed light on the social and economic conditions of early American society. Through her meticulous research and analysis, Ulrich provides a nuanced portrait of a woman who was both a product of her time and a trailblazer in her profession. One of the key themes in Ulrich's work is the role of women in early American society. Through Ballard's diary, Ulrich shows how women were largely relegated to the private sphere, responsible for managing the household and raising children. However, Ballard's work as a midwife allowed her to step outside of this traditional role and participate in the public sphere. As Ulrich notes, Martha's life as a midwife was a blending of public and private, a constant negotiation of the boundaries that defined women's work and men's, Ulrich, 17. By providing medical care to women during childbirth, Ballard was able to earn money and gain a measure of independence that was rare for women at the time. Another important theme in Ulrich's work is the role of class in early American society. While Ballard's work as a midwife allowed her to earn a living, Ulrich notes that she was still considered part of the lower classes. As Ulrich writes, Martha's diary provides a unique perspective on the life of a woman on the margins of the middling sort, an unpretentious woman who made a living by performing essential services for her neighbors, Ulrich, 23. Through her work, Ballard was able to participate in the economy of her community, but she was never able to fully escape the constraints of her class. Ulrich's work also sheds light on the medical practices of the time. Ballard's diary provides a wealth of information on the various remedies and treatments used by midwives during childbirth. As Ulrich notes, the diary is a treasure trove of information on the medical practices of the time, including the use of herbs and other natural remedies, as well as more invasive procedures like bloodletting, Ulrich, 44. Ulrich's analysis of Ballard's diary allows readers to gain a better understanding of the medical knowledge available at the time, as well as the limitations of that knowledge. Finally, Ulrich's work is notable for its use of primary sources. The bulk of the book is based on Ballard's own diary, which allows Ulrich to provide a detailed and nuanced portrait of her subject. By using primary sources, Ulrich is able to move beyond the myths and stereotypes that have developed around early American life and provide a more accurate representation of the period. Through her meticulous research and analysis, Ulrich provides readers with a glimpse into the daily life of a midwife and the social and economic conditions that shaped her world. In conclusion, A Midwife's Tale, The Life of Martha Ballard, based on her diary, is a fascinating work of historical analysis that sheds light on the role of women, class, and medicine in early American society. Ulrich's use of primary sources, combined with her insightful analysis, allows readers to gain a deeper understanding of the world in which Ballard lived. Through her work, Ulrich provides a valuable contribution to the field of American history and a vivid portrait of a woman whose life was both typical and extraordinary.